Adefila Osegu. I'm the ED of Bondi Sky Support Initiative. Wow. So what prompted you to start this ma? Well, it was through an experience and I, this is my way of giving back and also be able to break the meat around breast cancer that is a death sentence. Well, actually it's late presentation that makes it a death sentence. Incidentally, even as we are doing this work for cure in, in Ilori, there's another work going on in Abuja by Mrs. Dr. Mrs. Zainab Chinkafi, the wife of the Kabi State Governor. She's been doing so much, creating awareness. That's a challenge we have. We need to create more awareness if more people will come out and support what we're doing. And also that the government will pay more attention to the cancer space. I'm Dr. Oluwa Yemisi Adebue. Wow, yeah. Dr. Oluwa. So, why this choir work for Kioma? Ma? <laughs> it's, it's very essential because we want to reduce the scourge. That's the number and the scourge. That's the stigmatization and the problems that comes along with breast cancer. So it's coming at a very important time so that we raise awareness. Many people are ignorant. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to go about it. So we want people to know because it's curable. It's something you can actually prevent. And if detected in time, it's something that can be curable. Like our ED, Mrs. Tommy, she's a survivor of breast cancer. Yeah, she is. So if people know what to do in time, people can really survive. Yeah, so that's why we are working. Then, you know, exercise too is good for the body. So we are doing two things in one, raising awareness and also exercising our bodies. Exercisation is very key, it's, it's very important. So uh, for every woman to know that, you know, cancer is real, whatever type of cancer it is, breast cancer, cervical cancer, it is real and it's in our faces. So I love this program because, you know, the sensitization is there for everybody to know, be aware. Test centers are everywhere right now. You know, prevention is better than cure. If you know early, it's better. You can prevent some things earlier. So that's my take. That's why I'm here. And I know it's a good cause. Also, yeah, I never need to exercise and keep fit, so why not? Yeah. Advice would just be for them to check themselves always. You know, there are several opportunities that is available now on you doing your mammogram. Maybe is it mammogram? Yeah. So as often as you get an opportunity to do it, please ensure because it's really available, almost free of charge at most places. So women should please take advantage so that they can notice, they can get away in time for um, treatment to start. We're able to screen well over 130 women. Then on Thursday, because we realize now that even young girls are beginning to have um, breast cancer, so we took it to the secondary school so that people are more aware of their bodies even from when they're young, when they begin to notice irregularities. There's a, there's a huge um, myth going on around cancer. 95% of cancer is lifestyle. 5% is only genetic. So I think we need to begin to watch our lifestyle, the things we eat, the kind of things that we involve ourselves in. Some people smoke. The environmental factors are also contributing to what we are seeing today. <laughs> has come to stay in Quara. The first time was last year and we are repeating again this year and the major reason is because we want to ensure that everyone knows, they understand and they want, know what to do anytime they have maybe breast lump or anytime they are 
diagnosed to have cancer. This is because many women are dying needlessly. And we want to ensure that um, with this awareness and with the help of Bondi's Care, Medical Women Association, which I'm part of, and any other organization that wants to join us with us, like the media, like what you're doing, we should raise more awareness. Cancer is not a death sentence. It's very important for people to know. Then it's also important for people to know that they need to live healthy lives. One of the things that I would like the government to do is that apart from giving people who already have cancer money, they should involve more or invest more in prevention. And part of prevention is, like I said, starting from the children, let them be involved, give people what, let, let the children know what to do, let, um, let, let, let there be demos, more demos that we don't have many of those demos around, so they can provide more demos for us. And more importantly, the government too can put some of these things in the law. You know, when, it's, when all these preventive measures is part of education, you know that people know when it's in the curriculum that okay, um, breast cancer awareness is also so deep. So all the schools should be involved. All the past that house should be involved. You know, it becomes a yearly event and people will not forget. So ignorance level will be reduced. Then when whether you are a government worker or not a government worker, there should be a place for you or a day whereby they can live for you to be involved or to understand what this is. So it's something that everybody, I mean everybody, should be involved. The government, the religious body, the formal sector, the informal sector, the media, the NGOs, the community-based organizations, everyone needs to be involved. And with this, I know, it's something I believe, I know that there will be great reduction in the cancer numbers. My message to people about cancer prevention is for them to undergo screening regularly so that they can become aware of their status in time and also living a healthy life. Living a healthy life has to do with your lifestyle, knowing that living healthy is your lifestyle and you have to take it serious and take responsibility for it. There's work for cure for cancer, and uh, it's about early detection of uh, cancer, and uh, it's been uh, admonished among women and men to check themselves, and they go for check on yearly basis for the early stage of cancer. That's most curable, and it's not more deadly, and it is the best awareness that we could create for ourselves to live long, so that we can contribute our quota to humanity. The ambassador has said that why the, that's a war against drug abuse. We have been advocating against war, uh, war against uh, drug abuse among the youth, among women, among children that are destroying lives. And uh, we are using this medium again to tell you that to stay away from drug, it has only thing to do to you, and that's taking away your destiny. Thank you and God bless. Join us, join us, join us, join us, please. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I will go to the Let's form a big circle, please. A big circle. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, to the fighter. To the departure. Let's take it one. Come on. 